Hey everyone, welcome back to your intermediate JavaScript videos in which we're going to discuss about something known as hoisting in JavaScript, what it is and why this is like one of the favorite interview questions for JavaScript. So you see that if you create a variable, we have a lot of ways to create a variable now, you know, var, let, const, all that stuff, or maybe you can just go ahead and use this or create something on global as well. But the thing is, let's say I have var my object, or really let's just say my string, right? Which is just my name, Mehul, right? And I do console.log my string. You see, it all works fine. You're gonna get your name right here. Now, let's say I do a console log of a variable which does not exist, right? And I hit save. You see, we get an error that reference error, my string two is not defined. Now, what if I do this, but I move this line right here? What do you think should happen? Now, we know from our basic understanding that code always executes from top to bottom, right? So what should essentially happen is that JavaScript would first of all see this. Hmm, we want to console log something known as my string, but it's not there, right? So what you should expect is a similar error and then later on since we are defining it because this error is already there so this code never gets to this particular line. But surprisingly if I hit save what you're going to see is we get undefined as the um, console and my string. My string right here if you see it's now defined. So in fact this code actually executed. Why is that? Well this is basically what hoisting is. So hoisting basically means that what JavaScript does is that it particularly takes all the variable declarations and move them on the top. Now remember, this is important. Only the declarations are moved, not the initialization. So the code which you saw previously and this code is similar. So right now you see that my string, when we declare it like this, its value is undefined, which gets console logged. And then later on in the code, we are defining its actual value. Right, so hosting, what it means that this particular code and this particular code right here was equivalent. Right, so another thing you should know is that functions are also hosted. That means if you have a function like, let's say, say my name, and right here it says me like console log um, hello. Right, so now you see that I'm calling this function. If you think about it, I'm calling this function before I have declared it. Remember the code executes from top to bottom, right? So if I save this, you see it echoes out perfectly. Now again, the reason is that functions are as it is hosted at the top of the file. And by hosting, that means the JavaScript just takes the variable declarations and functions and places them at the top. And you know, it's available then to um, every function, right? Every Everywhere, essentially. Now the thing here is that you see if you have a function declaration like inside a variable, which is variable, let's say variable say my name is, then this is a function. You see that this would now not be hoisted. That means the function won't be hoisted, only the declaration. So if I save it now, you're gonna see we get an error. Again, this is because this code right here is equivalent of saying this and then saying say my name right here. So you see our function actually is declared here, but it's, uh, it's initialized here, but it's declared here, right? So this is why functions like these won't be hosted, but if you have the direct named functions, well, they would be hosted, right? So you should be able to see the output now correctly. Another thing, which is a major difference between let and var and const basically, is that let and const are not hosted. So we took a look at that if my name is like Mehul, and if I do console.log my name, and actually this should be a little bit down here. So you see that we get undefined, but if I change this from, from var to let, you see we get that similar error. So that means let declarations are not like this. So these two pieces of code are not equivalent if you're using let. Similarly, this is um, true with const as well. Const declarations are also not hosted. So the only thing which is hosted is variable declarations with var and functions. So yeah, that's it I guess for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you then in another one.